guys, it's Melissa, and it's Thursday. Um, I have a little warning before we get started talking about um, failure. Uh, I am so fired up today, you guys. I got some rest. I just talked about the importance of needing a break the other day, and uh, I needed a warning label. I'm so fired up today, <laughs> right? Have you ever been like that fired up? I listened to music this morning, and I'm like ready to go. I'm ready to like kick some ass. So, um, first of all, while people are hopping on, um, go ahead and type in a one if you're catching me live, two if it's a replay, and go ahead and post where you're tuning in from so I can say hey out there in your area. Uh, but here we go, guys. Uh, failure. Let's talk a little bit about failure before we start talking about the real failures um, of when you stop trying. Failure is one of those things um, in life that um, people, a human, in human nature, people repel failure. Obviously, it kind of totes. We've been raised to believe in society that failure equals uh, bad feelings. Um, if you don't believe that, um, just take a look at, I'm sure you've seen all the stuff going on these days with people getting awards for participation, which... I would like to state, for the record, I do not believe in. I do not believe in giving rewards for things you're supposed to do. So um, with that said, everyone is kind of um, formed and raised and programmed in today's society and as we were growing up to feel that failure equals bad feeling. Um, so people avoid it um, naturally, obviously. We all avoid failure. Um, I can pretty much tell you that at some point in your life, you've avoided some failure um, regarding something or another in your life. But today, um, when we're talking about failure and um, the real failure and stopping trying to do something, um, this can come across um, at any level of your life. This can apply to any level in your life, uh, fitness, family, relationships. Uh, business, which is, you know, um, I learned this in network marketing and in my home business. Um, so uh, the real failure, you guys, is when you stop trying. Um, think about it. Think about it. It's really hard to beat somebody that never gives up, right? It's really hard to beat somebody at something when they have such tenacity that they never give up on reaching their goals. So um, the key um, in failure is when you learn from it. Um, failure lends wisdom, uh, lends to wisdom, which equals a better version of you, right? So, um, you know, tell me you haven't learned a lesson from some failure in your life. Um, I was just talking to someone, a good friend of mine yesterday, and something kind of happened in their network marketing business, um, and they felt like a failure. Uh, and you know what? That person has the right mindset um, that's going to take them to the next level because they said, you know, I'm going to view this as a personal failure and I'm going to learn from it and I'm going to move on, which is the absolute right attitude you have to have when you're in a home business or a network marketing company uh, in a relationship. Um, think about that as in relation to your marriage. Um, if you fail and you give up, you really failed. If you fail at something and you learn from it and you improve your relationship, that's a win, right? So failure lends to wisdom, which equals a better version of you, whether it's in your relationship, your household, your kids, your life um, in general, your uh, relationship with others outside of your home, um, business. It can go across all those many platforms. So what matters next, you guys? What matters What is what's next? What's next? After I fail, what do I do from there? I mean, you feel like a piece of crap usually when you fail, right? So um, the, the key is that if you learn from it and you do the next step towards growth, you are taking the power. You're taking the power and learning something and using that failure to propel you to success. Failure is essential for success. It is absolutely necessary, and without failures along the way, you will never, ever get better at anything. It's, it's, it's impossible. If you don't fail, you're not going to learn what you did wrong versus what you did right, and you're not going to get to that next level. So for me, let me um, tell you a little bit of my story. I was told, I, and I've mentioned this before, so it's not really a secret, I was told that I would never amount to anything. I was raised by someone who told me those things to make themselves feel better. Uh, I was told I was no good. So for me, personally, it took me many, many, many failures 
to learn and realize that I am good. I am good. And you need to know that you need to know that you are good. And the only way that you're going to know that you're good and realize your full potential is by feeling the feeling when you fail, feeling how awful that feels and knowing that you don't want any more of that in your life. You don't want to fail again. You don't want to make the same mistake twice, right? So each time you fail guys, you know what that means? You're doing shit. If you weren't doing shit, you wouldn't fail. So basically, people who never fail aren't doing shit. Aren't doing shit. Oh, I said it. If you're not failing, you're not doing shit. It should be like um, played to like organ music. <laughs> so the true failure, you guys, in, in life, in business, in network marketing is stopping trying. If you stop trying, you have let failure win. You have learned nothing and you will move no further towards your goals, whatever it be, uh, whether it's your business, leveling up in your business, uh, making your marriage better, um, whatever, fitness, uh, if you don't fail at some point, and let me tell you, all the people that are really good at fitness, because I know this, because I used to be a fitness coach, uh, have failed so many times that they've got that pit in their stomach and disgust and they learn from that failure that they don't want to fail again. And that's the only reason that they are so adamant about not giving up and continuing on their goals. Failure equals success, you guys. It's absolutely essential. Um, like I said, for me, it took many, many years of reprogramming my mind and learning from my failures. Uh, a lot of people ask me, you know, Melissa, why, um, what is it about you that keeps you going and keeps you going? I, you're like relentless. You're relentless about your pursuit. And it's, it's the fear of failure. It's my fear of failures. And honestly, uh, my failures have done nothing but propel me. And that goes across every aspect of my life. Everything that I've failed at, I have told myself when I hit that failure, when I have been down at the bottom of the barrel and I feel like I don't want to get up, I have said to myself, do you want to feel this feeling again? And the answer is always no. And you know what? The only way to stop feeling that feeling, whatever it is, is to get back up and do better. Be the better version of yourself. That is what it's all about, you guys. Failure equals lesson learned equals growth. Failure is essential. So stop fearing the failure. Stop running away from the failure. And stop stopping when you hit failure. Stop stopping. You have got to stop doing that. Because when you stop trying, that is the true failure. That's the true failure. You have given up. You have said, I suck. I'm not going to do anything good anymore, which is the wrong way to grow. You need to grow. You need to learn from the mistake that caused the failure and do it better next time. Become a better version of you, you guys. That's what it's all about. That is what separates me from many people I see out there who tell me they're going to do something and then they don't do shit. That is the only thing that I can pinpoint. I am not afraid of failure anymore. I refuse to be afraid of failure and I have committed myself to using failure to get to the next level. So the true failure when you stop trying. So I hope that that helped. Um, I hope that um, if you're feeling like you're in that place and you want to quit, that this helped you some and you don't quit because that's the wrong thing to do. A lot of times when you're at that point where you want to give up, you're just at the verge of breaking through to the next level. It's always right there when you're like self-doubting and things like that. So if this helped you, share it. Um, go ahead and tag people if you want. Drop me a note um, and let me know if you've struggled with this because I know a lot of people in my business have, um, a lot of people that are in fitness, a lot of people that um, have made changes in their lives. This is a very key element of um, you know, moving forward. So uh, when you fail, get back up and try again, try again, try again, try again. Yep, that's what it takes. And uh, if you're willing to do that, you will definitely grow. You will become a better version of yourself. Um, I love you guys as always. Thank you so much, everyone who has, joins me on my uh, lives. I really, truly appreciate the support. And um, to continue to tune in, I'll be here tomorrow at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern, and we'll have a new subject to talk about. I'm going to go get some more dancing on because I'm fired up. <laughs> All right, you guys, I will see you later. Um, I have a little surprise coming later on my page, too. You want to stay tuned and watch for my, my updates because I have a little... 
you will surprise. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Have an awesome Thursday and have a great day.